Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing CV2 MCQ solutions for April 2023 exams. Okay. So I'll only be giving you the options uh, on how, uh, from the paper. So, and these are true and best of my knowledge. If you find any discrepancy or if you have any doubts, you can obviously comment in the comment section. Okay. So your First, in economics, the problem is scarcity. It is direct definition. So it is D, is because there are there are insufficient resources to satisfy human wants. Two, what is the combined effect of pollen cost of production, pollen consumer income on the equilibrium price and quantity of a normal group? It should be A, the effect of price is indeterminate, but the quantity will fall. Economies of scale means long range average cost, total cost falls at output rises. This is option B. Four, which of the following does not necessarily apply to a perfectly competitive firm that produces in both short run and long run? It should be the firm will have an average revenue that exceeds an, uh, its AVC of production. So 4C. Five, the prisoner's dilemma applied to a situation involving two oligopolistic firms illustrates that it should also be seen in avoiding the worst possible outcome. Each of the firms will fail to reach the best possible outcome. The welfare consequences of third degree price discrimination are to the benefit of, again, see both consumers and producers. The demand for good X is a price elasticity of minus one. Tax on good X is 10 per unit. If the government decides to reduce the tax on good X to five per unit, this would supply, reduce, shift the supply curve for good X down by five exactly and decrease the price by less than five. So D, eight, an economy moves from producing 15 units of good X and six units of good Y to instead producing 16 units of good X and three units of good Y. How many uh, units of good Y is the opportunity cost from the 16th unit of good X? So it should be one by three A. Eight A. Nine, which of the following best describes an annual demand curve? It should be the quantity, the quantity customers are willing to be able to buy over the next year. 10. If a maximum price for good X is fixed above the market equilibrium price, there will be no tendency for the market price of good X to change. A firm's short run total cost of 250 uh, run total cost of 250 when 10 units are produced, and its total variable costs are. 100 variable costs are 100 the total marginal cost of producing the 10th unit is 27 and the marginal cost of producing the 11th unit is 23 which of the following is true again the average total cost of the 11th unit is greater than the average total cost of the 10th unit you can see a is correct okay then in duopoly industry, the profit for firms to if a profit payoff to firm X arises from various strategies depending on firm's Y strategy. The profit payoffs to firm X are given below. Which of the one of the following depends on maximum strategy? So in the maximum strategy, we'll find out the minimum of all the strategies of X and then find the maximum of all. So here it is minus 10, here it is minus 20, here it is 20. Uh, sorry, there is minus 80, 25, and it's 10. Maximum of all is 25. So strategy three. Global Airways, which is a profit maximizing firm, has to decide whether or not to run an extra daily flight between London and Manchester. The total daily fixed cost of the airline are 4,000. Variable costs are 4,500. And the expected average revenue from the extra flight is 50 with 85 passengers. In such circumstances, Global Airways will, will not run the extra flight because it will expect profits to decrease. Okay. 14. Good X is an inferior good, but not a given good. If the budget line is drawn with the quantity of good Y on the vertical axis and good X on the horizontal axis, a fall in the price of good X will cause the budget line of the consumer to become flatter and overall consumption of good X to rise. Okay. Next is 15. Which of the following could explain why a country's aggregate demand curve may shift inwards to the left? That is an appreciation in the domestic currency. Okay, an appreciation in the domestic currency. Which of the following statements about the real variables in the economy is true? Again, it is the nominal GDP must change by a bigger percentage in the real GDP if there's a positive rise in the GDP deflator. 
In an economy operating significantly below the full employment level, the adoption of expansionary fiscal policy combined with contractionary monetary policy will result in an indeterminate effect on aggregate demand and unemployment. Okay. Which of the following would not constitute a supply side economy policy for reducing unemployment? That is increasing the money supply. It's a demand side policy. In a simple closed economy with no taxes, consumption is given by the relationship this. If a government expenditure is this, what will be the value or equilibrium value of GDP? It should be D, none of the above. If we calculate, it comes to 500 million, which is not there in the option. 20. Which of the following is most likely to lead to cost push inflation? It is an up, uh, it is a, a rise in the labor productivity. Okay. 21. Other things remaining the same in a closed economy, the effect of cut in government expenditure is to raise short-term interests because demand shifts to the left. 22. Assume that the actual rate of employment is below the natural rate of unemployment and be, uh, because the expected rate of inflation is below the actual rate of inflation. If expected rate of inflation rises to the actual rate of inflation, then real wage growth will start to real wage growth will start to rise and the real output will fall. Which of the following is the correct response to the missing words in the statement below? Automatic stabilizers act to, this is A, increase government expenditures and reduce government revenues during a recession. In a closed economy, planned investment is 20 million, government expenditure 40 million, planned savings 15 million, taxes 25 million. Which of the most likely to occur? National income will tend to decrease. Okay, because exports minus imports is negative, so national income will tend to decrease. 25, according to the quantity theory of money, an increase in money supply is least likely to lead to the inflation. Money supply is least likely to lead to inflation because if the velocity of circulation increases. 26, other things being equal in an economy with zero growth, if the expected rate of inflation with say settlements are 3% and the money supply is increasing at 4%, then there will be short run rise in inflation and fall in unemployment okay so these were the mcq discussions of the cb2 paper thank you everyone.